Hi everyone, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures and my email is jandapanda at comcast.net and I'm just wanting to come by and say hi and show you some brooches if you want to purchase. Uh, so this is going to be my brooch sale. Um, hoping to get through it relatively quickly. They're not going to be very expensive, so if you see something you like, um, give me a screenshot or a timestamp. Um, that would be great, and I can send you an invoice. Um, my uh, shipping starts at $4, and I'm sure that you can get several, maybe three, depending on the weight, of course. You know, you can probably get a few of them for, you know, $4 shipping. So anyway, I wanted to start out first with this really cute puppy dog. Now, um, you know, you're kind of wondering what can you do with all these craft lots? Well, there's a lot you can do with these craft lots. Um, this little puppy, I think he's probably was, I don't know if he was made in the 50s. He looks like he is. It looks like he's been made in the 50s. But somebody took some inexpensive plastic faux pearls and I guess they got a hold of a pattern and they were able to put them all together. So this is definitely a craft made product. Cute little floppy ears. Um, so there are multiple things you can do with um, you know, craft items. So I would just wanted to share that with you. I, I found him in the basement today. He does have, this is why I think he's kind of old. He's, I don't know if that's paint. It might be paint on the bead and not the bead peeling, but anyway, so he's an old guy. Somebody enjoyed making this one. Anyway, so there you have that. And um, I didn't bring my tape measure, but you can kind of get a gist of maybe what these sizes are. Um, I have, um, I might try and grab a tape measure. I don't know where it is. But no, let me go get a, a ruler. Those are fun. I do have my dots. There's my center dot. I'll be momentarily gone. Um, Hang in there, I'll be right back. There we go. I have a ruler. I'll just leave it here, kind of a little off. So, well, I'll get it closer to the so not, these aren't going to be very big. Um, I do have, this is kind of fun. These are pot beads. I remember having these when I was a kid. I just, I put them on tonight and I go, you can't even tell. <laughs> They're so cute. They're so much fun. Anyway, so. Dun, dun, dun. All right, I'm going to start with brooches that I'm selling for $3 a piece. If you want to make me an offer on a, a bundle or any of them, please feel free. I um, This came in one of my boxes. I don't know which one, but I didn't out and out purchase this particular thing. But this is Alcrate, and it's a book club and a monthly enamel pin collection. So, and this one's February 2021. It's not old. Um, somebody's selling it on Macari for $9. Uh, I don't, I, I imagine they're, somebody collects these, but this is, this is uh, my $3 lot that I'm selling. I'll leave that there for a little while. I also have, these are marked pieces. So, this one, it just, it's so soft and buttery. It does have like maybe a little bit of a scratch there. Um, but this has a mark and I will check it out. This is a Monet. 
easy to find. So this is a little Monet piece. And all of these that I'm showing you are $3. I think I may have another Monet piece. Let me look. I think it does say Monet. It's kind of obscured. I really can't read that. It's all mishmashed. But that's the mark there. And the pin sits like this. All the stones are there. So that's cute. Remember now, these are my $3 items. So we have a trumpet with the stones and a Monet and an L crate. This one doesn't have a mark. I'm gonna put it aside. It's kind of cute though. It was in with my Jerry's pin lot that I got. This one, a little, little tiny hummingbird. I thought he had a mark. Yes. This little guy has a mark. And of course, I can't read it. Roman. So this says Roman. And this little guy is about an inch by inch. He's tiny, kind of like a scatter pin. This one is, I think it's pretty, it's old. Oh, this is a Coro. It has a, I don't even have to get my loop for that, but it does say Coro. Right there. I think you can see it. Really nice pin too, but this this part right here is a little loose, but I don't even know how if you can tighten that, maybe with a shot of glue or something. But it's I I don't know if it's missing stones. It doesn't I mean to me it doesn't look like it is. It's kind of like well maybe they are. I don't know. Um but I mean, all these little, little guys are here and you would think those would fall out first. But anyway, that's a little Coro pin, a little bent here. This little guy, cute little apple, super tiny. I call these guys scatter pins. Um, let's see if I can open it. Oh man, the wind is really blowing in Northern California. We're in Sonoma County and it's just, okay, well, I can't open this guy. Uh, and it is just blowing. I mean, it's crazy blowing out there. I'm gonna go on my walk tomorrow, I'll probably see all kinds of tree branches and roof tiles and yeah, this guy I can't open. Um, it's an Avon. I'll put it in with the dollars. We'll we'll go back over that. This pretty piece, it just looked old. It has a um, a hook there for a pendant. It has. It's this is bent a little bit here. Uh, it doesn't stick out very far, so it may not be that old. There's no. I couldn't find any maker's marks on it. But all the, the stones are there and it's a pretty large piece. This one is probably like, you know, two, two and a quarter by two and a quarter. Here's a pretty butterfly. She's, she seems like she's a little bit older too. Kind of a filigree. And all of her stones are there and these are prong set. These guys down here. These guys aren't, they might be embedded somehow, but she's pretty. Beautiful little butterfly. This is milk glass. This is no maker's mark on it. It can be a pendant. Really nice shiny piece there, it's, um, it's glass. 
has kind of a cameo setting to it. So it's like about an inch by an inch and a half or an inch and a quarter. I do have some holiday pieces and I might bring these back out in the hol during the holidays when I'll just line these guys up here like a show, like they're on TV, which they are. Um, I, these, if they don't sell, I'll bring them out again during the holidays. But that's a beautiful enamel poinsettia. No maker's marks, but you know, it's it's got some weight to it. And it's really nice and smooth. There's nothing chipped here. And this guy I loved. I don't know if I showed him in a previous video on an unboxing or something. But this guy, all of these you know, there's enamel here, enamel here, and then it's got this gem piece there. Beautiful enamel piece. And I'm looking at the back. No, they're not really from the same maker. This one, the pin sticks out a little bit. Might be a little older. This one has kind of a, I'll call it a safety pin clasp. Come on, get in there. All right. So these are guys are the holiday ones, but super heavy duty enamel. And again, there's there's nothing going on. There's a, a rhinestone here and a, a red rhinestone there. So these guys are super cute. Okay, on a, uh, we'll continue on with our three dollar lot. Now these pins, these are, you know, I sell a lot of floral enamel pins. And uh, it seems like they're pretty, you know, a hot commodity these days. Okay, these guys, moving you, moving you on. Okay, so this, these enamel pins, especially in, during the holidays, this one's not broken. Well, maybe he is. I don't know. But, you know, you can tell they're, I don't know, 60s. So there's... Some enamel pins. This one's really sweet. A little dirty, but that can be cleaned off. And do I have any more enamel? Oh yes, there's some other pretty little floors here. This one is really nice. No maker's mark. We're still in the $3 per, but again, if you want to buy some, let me know. I can put together a deal. This one almost looks like it's Demoscene. Super nice. All that filigree work in, inside here. No maker's mark. And then we have these, this pretty little gal here. Sweet little red rose. No maker's mark, but it's got this kind of a clasp. Kind of like a little safety pin. Really cute. Super small too. Maybe you can call it a scatter pin, but I mean, she's she's not very big. I'd say maybe even three quarter inches by an inch and a half. And here's a pretty gal, no maker's mark. Keep pushing these guys over. All right. a tall one. This one's about a little over two and a half inches. This one I think has a maker's mark on it. I'm not sure. I think it's right here. It does. This is a, it looks like it says Jerry. So this is a Jerry's pin. Cute little wreath pattern. This one doesn't have a maker's mark, but you can tell it's old. Because it, look at how far that pin sticks out. I mean, it's sticking way out there. So this one's pretty old. But, and it may have some more, it probably just needs a little polishing. But the rhinestones are there and they are prong set. 
And these are nice big prongs too, but no maker's mark. We have a couple little scatter pins here. And these look like they're vintage as well. Um, this one has kind of a smoky look to it with the square rhinestone in the center. This one, again, no maker's mark, but this one has got the, I mean, this is pretty old. I'm trying not to break these things, but it's got this kind of a clasp with no latch. Can I, did I get it out? No. This one, it's gonna need some coaxing, but yeah, I got, I got the pin open. But look at that, and these look like they're little milk glass with a aqua light, um, rhinestone there, and then there's these little rhinestones here. Oh, this is going in the craft lot. There are no rhinestones there. There's like one pearl right there. I don't know if you can see it. So this is going in craft. And I'll bring out the craft pile later. Okay, so this is another pretty. All the rhinestones are there, but no maker's mark, but it's a really nice piece. This one actually um, looks brand new. Really cute. This one's got a maker's mark on, well, let me show you the front. There's the front. Probably can use a clean and shine or a simple shine on it. But all the stones are there. They are prong set. And this little baby is, come on, move it. Yeah, wouldn't WD-40 come in handy? Probably would wreck all the jewelry though, but Anyway, so there's like a ribbon here. It's, you know, over two inches by an inch and a half. And the maker's mark is oh my goodness. Oh, this might be it's an Eisenberg. So there you go. But it's, I mean, it looks like it's maybe got some issues here with this stone, like it's been dropped. But this is an Eisenberg. And it's really nice on the back. So I don't know what happened here. Probably could use a sonic bath. Simple shine. Eisenberg. This one doesn't have a maker's mark. Uh, the pin sticks out a little bit. Um, all the rhinestones are there. It's pretty lightweight. I don't think this, this kind of feels like plastic. I don't think it's a stone. Test it real quick with the Presidium Gem Tester. No, it's not even registering glass. I think it's, oh, what happened to my gem tester? Do you step on it? Of course it's not gonna, oh, there we go. Of course it's not gonna register. Yeah, there's nothing there. But he's cute. A little sunburst. We also have this cute little, oh, did I bring this out already? I don't know, can't remember. It's been a long day. So there's a little ladybug. Here's another flower. This has a maker's mark of Monet, so here's another Monet piece. Looks like signature Monet. So put a little parade of brooches all the way through here. We're still going through the $3 ones. No maker's mark on this one, but it's in really nice shape. Looks like there, if there was one, it would be right here. <laughs> Here's a really pretty, oh, oh, 
this has a maker's mark. Some pretty white, white rose. This one says, does it say Jerry's? I can't see it. Looks like it says Jerry's. Sorry, I have to keep closing these because you know what's going to happen. I get poked. And it might be missing a little bit of enamel there, but you get a gist of the size of these gals. And I think I have a couple more. This one I want to test, test with the gem tester. But this one's really sweet. Is it missing stuff? No, but you know what? These guys, these, I don't know if you can see it, but under the loop, these are little carved scarabs. That's really cool. They're, they're carved scarabs. Maybe if I, can you see it this way? Let's see if I can, I don't know if you can see that, but those little guys are scarabs in a ring. That is so cool. Oh my goodness. Let me see if they're gems. Okay, this one's testing. Looks like it could be quartz. This one, I don't know what this is. That one's it's registering, but I can't tell which one. Let's see, do we have, this one's up in the, it looks like chrysophrase or garnet. This one, yeah, this is a stone piece. This one's not registering. Just keep going around the ring here. Not registering. I mean, they're registering as glass, but I don't know about you guys, but my Presidium is kind of temperamental. Yeah, these guys aren't registering. So I did get some hits over here, but these are little scarabs. That is so cool. Super tiny. And they are stone. I mean, they could be quartz or... But, um, and they're, yeah, they're semi-precious, but, um, but there's no maker's mark. So that's, you know, whatever. So that little guy is available. Let's see if we have any more in the $3 lots. This says BSK. Right here. It's like a crescent. I don't know how you would wear it. So it goes this way. So I don't know if you would wear it. It's a leaf. If you would wear it this way, or if you would wear it this way. I'm not a brooch person. I mean, I like brooches and I'd love to know how to wear them, but um, I don't know how to put those guys on. All right, now we're getting into the, these are $3. We're gonna do, I think the rest are gonna be $1. And I'm just gonna go right through them and again, I will do a bulk lot on these. I'll just line them up. One dollar, one dollar. Like that. I mean, they're super nice. Anybody miss? Here we go. Michael Jackson, Disney Parks. This one, yeah, no marks. This one, pretty little heart, a clover. Just have this uh, ruler here for reference. This looks like cloisonne, cloisonne, but it, I mean, I'm saying cloisonne, but I know that these probably are not cloisonne. So they're, this one has rhinestones in it. Maybe they are, uh, but I know that that's a, 
an overused term. Like, for instance, this cloisonne is from the 80s. I don't know that it's for real cloisonne, but I, I know that it's either painted uh, enamel or it's, you know, melted glass. This one looks really old. This looks like crimped lace. Here's a really cool little goldfish. So there's that part. These guys are a dollar, so I'm gonna push them in this direction. So get a good look. I'll bring up the, you know, the measuring device, this is what we once called a ruler. Anyway, so those are all a dollar each. Next group, we do have a lot to get through. But if you see something you like, or if you, you know, I think I'm gonna put him in craft. I think he's missing an eyeball. This is, looks really old. But here's a whole bunch of beautiful brooches. We got a little turtle, we got this guy. Um, you know what? I don't, just looking to see if those are supposed to be real, um, rhinestones or if that's just pressed into it to make it look, look like they're rhinestones. And we have a palm trees. Yeah, there's no, none of these I don't think had any maker's marks on them. Super cute. Oh, this one, did I already go over this one? This might have been one I didn't read or could have been a Jerry's pen, I don't know. All right, look at those. A dollar each. This one is really nice, it feels good. So these are on the dollar side. And look at this. Here, I thought that I had already looked at this pin, but this is the pin that we already looked at. So I have twinsies. And they do have a mark, so maybe one of them I can read. I just can't. Just not there. Anyway, those are gonna go in the $1 pile. Here's a little moon. He looks worn out. Here's a pretty little butterfly. Really nice enamel work on this one. I just wish artists would sign their stuff. This one feels like it's got you know, fake druzy here. It's kind of a weird feeling stone. This one, this is really pretty too. I don't know if that's a maker's mark. I don't think so. Looks like that's just where they attach the, the pin back. This one kind of reminded me of 1928 with all that work in the back. And it doesn't look like anything's missing. Cute little frog. This angel. I think this was in some sort of a box that had like a high priced brand name to it. But I think anybody can put something in a box and call it a designer thing because there's no maker's mark. And I know high end designers, they, they put their mark on anything, everything. So I don't think it's anything. Just a cute angel. And this is really cute. Little holly pin, no maker's mark. Looks vintage. A little tiger pin says Dallas Zoo. You can tell that one came out of a Texas blue box. 
Okay, putting that over. Over here. This I'm selling as a set, a dollar for both. I know it's kind of weird to have a dollar sale, but you know, aren't these cute little scatter pins? But I'm kind of hoping that everybody's gonna be wanting to buy more than one. Um, so, but if you want one, I'll sell you one. And this is a stunning piece. No maker's mark. And this baby, she's got some beef, some heft to her. So, but no maker's mark. I mean, these are loose, but I think they're meant to be loose. Nothing's missing. All those background rhinestones are there. Uh, I guess it goes this way. But, I mean, look at that. She's like three by three. She's a huge girl. And here's another dollar butterfly. Cute. Little pink eyeballs. I'll put him. Move my little ruler over here so you guys can see everything. We'll move it down as we need to. Here's a cute little... Okay, so I guess it goes this way. Oh, and here's a tiger. He's cute. I really like this guy. He's pretty awesome. And this gorgeous bow. Look at that. So shiny. I love this soft finish on this, like a satin finish on the... Um, on this. It almost reminds me of a Joan Rivers piece because, I mean, it's just, I mean, you look at it and you go, oh, how pretty. I mean, it's just a bow, but look at it. It's so sweet with that little bit of brush to it. Let me put it there and then you guys can go, oh, how pretty. So I'll bring her up for close up. Look at that. Fill the screen, girl. Fill the screen. Here's the back. Bring her over. Nice. All right. This is cool. It's a key with charms. She's a dollar. Here's a J. I should keep it, but I don't wear initials. Um, this one doesn't look like there's anything missing. It's been worn. It almost reminds me of a Sarah Coventry piece. No marks. Here's an eagle tack pin. Here is... No, um, doesn't look like there's anything in their eye holes there, but maybe there's not supposed to be anything that they're just like, I don't know, they, um, they don't look empty. They look like it was maybe planned that way. I don't know, but they're cute little bluebirds. Here's a wire angel. Cute. And this is the one I um I was I'll, I'll bring it up because um the re the reason why I'm laughing is um doesn't this guy look like Waldo like <laughs> Where's Waldo? It's a nicely painted wooden brooch. Somebody, you know, it was a lot of effort here, but I mean, that looks like, that looks like Waldo. I'll bring it over here. But that's, isn't that Waldo? Like, now we know where Waldo is, but really cool. 
It looks like somebody embedded a um, safety pin in here. So it's probably an artisan piece. Really nice job. That could be an overlay of some sort, but some of it looks like it's been hand painted. And got a few more little items here. I just threw the Hard Rock Cafe one in there. The reason why is because it does look vintage, like one of the original Hard Rocks. So, save the planet, love all, serve all. That's cute, nice little sentiment. And I have a zebra, and I have this guy. Uh, he might, I, I don't know. He's, he's seen, this one's seen better days, but they're beautiful feathers. The pearl's still there. And then I think I, this one's the last one. This one reminds me of origami. Like an origami swan, really pretty. Anyway, if you see anything you like, email me. There might be a brooch or two here. And um, so the last group was the dollar group. And um, I think I mixed them up a little bit, but just go through the um, video. And um, we will go from there. We'll work it out. So, I think this one is an Eisenberg. But again, he's got issues. You know, like right here, it looks like there might be a chip in a rhinestone. Definitely needs some cleaning, but all the rhinestones are intact. I don't know. Some of them are brilliant. So anyway, again, 37 minutes. And I can't seem to get under 30 minutes. So I was hoping to have a Goodwill blue box today for two of them, two. They're not, they didn't arrive today. My blue box is coming from Ohio. So I'm hoping that it's gonna be a much better blue box than the Texas blue boxes and the Tennessee blue boxes that I have been seeing on YouTube. So, um, Texas has got some issues, I think. I don't know. I do, I do know that Texas did, they did refund my money on some blue box or two blue boxes that I got from them or Goodwill did. Um, but from what I've seen, Tennessee and uh, Texas are still not doing well as far as blue boxes. Um, so I kind of shudder if I get one from uh, Tennessee or Texas. But I do have, I did, my, my current blue box is coming from Ohio. Next week, I'm getting a, two blue boxes from North Carolina. So we'll see what happens. My favorites are Hackensack, New Jersey, and Florida. Do they do very well? And um, so we'll see what happens. So on that thought, this is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures. This is the $3 lot. I mean, the $3 pins. The rest are in the, later in the video are the $1 ones. And we'll wrap up a good deal. I just wanted to come by and say hi to you. And maybe have a blue box video for you tomorrow. So thank you all so much. And have a good night. This is Jeanette with Janda Panda Treasures. Janda Panda at Comcast.net. And... Hit the like button, please. And, and I wanted to say thank you so much to Kimmy and Kristen and um, give a shout out to uh, I Spy um, Vintage. I think that's who they are. They have some really cute videos. I was so, it was so joyful. They're, they're joyful. I love, I love their interaction and they are very, 
I mean, it, it was fun watching them and um, say hi to Brandy and uh, Susie. Thank you. I got my um, my jewelry today. It's beautiful. And Kristen, I got my my um, purse today. I was like, so excited. So anyway, good night all, and um, talk to you maybe tomorrow.